as a slew of balance passes here in version 43.3 has come to pass some interesting cards have also come up and i want to look into them opd militia is one of those cards and you know what <laughs> there's a pretty good potential Amazon is the tried and true way of shopping for anything you need or want at the lowest prices. Support the channel at no cost to you by doing your Amazon shopping through the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide. I am Silfen, where we're taking a look at the math behind OPD Militia. So ladies and gentlemen, essentially the TLDR is that you spend mana to gain ability damage, and it's really quite simple. 20 mana for 100 damage, the math is really quite simple. It ends up that it is actually very much efficient in converting mana into, into damage, even when you consider abilities and other cards. Somebody on something, using this card on Chimera gives him 500 more damage in a like few second window to for a total burst if he has 40 power of 2000 damage in like the span of three, four seconds unbelievable so when you can basically it converts one mana to five ability damage in 20 mana chunks or 100 damage chunks opd militia is more efficient in converting mana into damage when compared to most hero abilities it's relatively good in converting mana into damage and heroes with less mana usage and higher mana pools will be able to utilize opd militia more often simply as less mana usage means more mana for opd militia but the mana that you get on opd militia because it does give you mana will give you an additional 1000 ability damage when you fully use the 190 mana that opd militia gives you essentially it's a great card for converting mana into damage if one can land obviously your basic attacks and you have the mana to spend on it even if you need mana for other abilities though spending the 190 Basically, it's 200 when you include the mana regen. It takes to, you know, it's actually spend that 190. It's going to be basically be a thousand extra damage. And since most people can, you know, hit a bit, uh, hit a one basic attack a second, a thousand extra damage in a 10 second engagement, that is significant. So that was the TLDR. What's the in depth look? What's the math behind? Uh, the, behind all of what I just stated, how can I prove to you that it's, um, there's a potential in here. So essentially, if you guys don't know, OPD Militia is 8 Agility, 4 Intellect Knowledge card, so it's in the Knowledge Affinity, uh, but it's, it's odd, it, 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 you have to spend Agility and Intellect, so a pseudo castery fighter wants to go into a Intellect a little bit, it can, can use uh, Intellect, maybe this is the card for them 15 power 21 attack speed 190 mana that's pretty interesting stats that mana obviously enables you to use opd militia like we said on the tldr to convert it that mana into damage while giving you power and attack speed so a fighter or a, a up close and personal caster can definitely probably use opd militia quite well the active ability is a toggle and it's called enchanted strikes basic attacks cost 20 mana and deal an additional 100 ability damage so you just every basic attack you spend 20 mana doesn't matter if you hit an enemy or not you're just spending 20 mana per basic and boom 100 ability damage pretty darn cool now the math behind the mana and damage and stuff like that is pretty simple it's 20 mana 100 damage, pretty much like that. 100 mana, 500 damage, 200 mana, uh, 1,000 damage. Why is this yellow? Because that is about what OPD Militia gives you. It gives you 190 mana when you include the mana regen that you'll get from the time it takes to, to, to use those basic attacks. Probably have about 200. So basically 1,000 damage you can, you can convert uh, just from OPD Militia alone and then it just kind of goes up there it's pretty simple 500 mana is 2500 health or 2500 damage basically what you take away from this is if you are familiar with other abilities with other cards um and the damage that they deal you'll kind of realize that hey that's pretty efficient 
uh, or that's a quite a, that's a good amount of damage for the mana spent. And this five here, this lonesome five, is simply how much attack, uh, uh, how much ability damage per point of mana. Five, five damage for one mana. So. That is pretty good. Why do we care about that? Because when we come down here and we look at abilities versus damage versus mana cost and then compare how much damage per mana those abilities deal, well, you can actually see it's pretty darn good. The abilities here in red are the ones that beat, that are more efficient at spending mana on abilities than, um, than OPD Militia, but you know a vast majority of abilities don't deal as much damage for the mana cost of those abilities than OPD Militia. So hopefully that makes sense. Again, huge disclaimer that yes, there is much more to these abilities than just the damage that they deal. Completely understand that. So please, you have to take into, into consideration that Hoarfrost also roots some, somebody. Hamstring also slows. You know, um, a, a double plane also applies a bleed. Like, there's so much more to these abilities than just damage. But just be because OBD Militia um, is one-dimensional mana for damage, we have to take into we have to take that approach when we look at these abilities. So, the damage that these abilities deal, the mana cost, and then the how much damage per mana. And as you can see, a vast majority of them are not as efficient, again, because they have other aspects of them other than just the damage that they deal. But some of them are really good, like Sev Severo Siphon, when you include his stacks, um, you know, a good amount of stacks, is very efficient. Unleash from Chimera, just because, well, uh, you know, his basic attacks do a lot of damage and Unleash enables him to do a lot of damage. So. Yeah, so uh, some of these are obviously good. A lot of ultimates, I mean, obviously ultimates are going to do a lot of damage because they're ultimate abilities. So those simply even didn't really include in here. But as you can see, this just proves that Ma that OPD Militia is quite efficient in giving you damage for mana spent, which is probably why they did reduce it to from 25 mana for 100 damage to 20 as when they did the math here they probably saw hmm it's not really efficient it's not really worthwhile going from it when you can just use your abilities get something else for the damage that those abilities deal and also you know, obviously spend your mana on it so there you go now what about cards what cards are there that also deal damage Yes, there's a lot of cards that also deal a lot of other things, and all of these, on all of these cards, besides maybe Nameless Curse, um, do something else other than just damage. But as you can see, again, a good amount of cards are less efficient at dealing damage. Yes, a lot of these um, do, do 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 a lot of other things. Grinning Spectre can execute heroes. Black Ice Routine deals uh, slow. Thunder Cleaver is an AOE. Um, Static Trap obviously traps people. It's so, like there is a lot more to these cards, but again, we have to look at just that you that one-dimensional damage component of, of OPD Militia, and it does its job. It's efficient. It deals damage for the mana that you spend on it, and hey, it's just a good damage card. It's really quite simple. Deals good damage. Now, I have to have a huge shout out for, uh, uh, for, for, for Blood Mortius for turning me on to Chimera and OPD Militia uh, version 41. I, no, version 4, well, no, it couldn't be version 41. 42.1, I think. Something like that. He was like, it's insane. And I did the math. Chimera with 40 power. Maybe that's more than you'll have, less than you have. I just, we're just putting on 40 power on our Chimera because you're going for OPD Militia, so probably gonna be a little bit of a fighter true fighter uh his his ambush with 40 power 226 damage his ultimate 564 damage with uh you know with with 40 power unleash with his basic attacks with that power um deals 654 damage Plus, OPD Militia, when you have it on, because Unleash is five basic attacks, so five of OPD Militia is 500 damage, 
Plus, Blood Morius was like, hey, put on Empowered Rounds, you'll also get a, th uh, a hundred extra damage on that fifth basic of Unleash. So it's 600 more damage in that span of a window, and as you can see, that's 600 more damage, whereas otherwise you're doing only doing 1400, which means total burst of 2,000 damage in what? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, like the probably three and a half seconds is my educated guess. Three and a half seconds, 2000 damage, of course, you know, if you get all the all that stuff off. But is that not insane? Is that not insane? So Chimera, OPD Militia sounds really good on him. Uh, Zinx would be another really good one because the lower mana she gets, the more mana regen she gets. So she can probably just keep, you can probably just keep OBD Militia on on Zinx. And that would give him, or give her more damage plus. You can put Kitty Claws on, like, oh, that would be nasty. So I just wanted to do the math for you on Chimera because there's a ton of potential. So what are some factual statements we can make about OPD Militia? Well, it converts one mana to five ability damage in 20 mana chunks. Uh, basically 100 dam damage chunks as well. OPD Militia is more efficient in converting mana into damage when compared to most hero abilities. Yes, of course, most, he most hero, hero abilities do other things as well. OPD, OPD Militia is a relatively good card in converting mana into damage. I mean, there's some cards that just obviously way outdo OP OPD Militia. Um, but it is a good card. It's a good card. It's not a weak card that you're like, really no point heroes with less mana usage and higher mana pools will be able to utilize opd m m militia more often somebody like wraith somebody like zinx yeah she does use mana technically when she tanks but she also gains a lot of it um somebody like wraith would be really 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 good chimera i mean he's not too mana intensive once you get mana reactor i suppose he's not terribly you can definitely play him kind of with less mana usage but the, the, the relationship still stay, still is the same. Heroes with less mana usage and higher mana pools will be able to utilize OPD Militia more often. But, even regardless of that, the mana that you get on OPD Militia will still give you an additional 1,000 ability damage when fully utilized. So if you're just like, OPD Militia, I want it to be its own self-contained unit. I want to take that 190 mana that, uh, that OPD Militia gives me and turn that into damage through its own active... Well, it gives you a thousand ability damage on its own, and then you can use your mana pool, if, if, if you want to look at it like that, to deal extra damage. Like a thousand ability damage, when most heroes attack pretty much faster than, than, than one time a second, that's, that's good. In a, ten, in a ten second engage when you can do a thousand extra ability damage, pff, that's freaking solid. So... Some conclusions, guys. OPD Militia is a great card for converting mana into damage. It really is. If you can land your basic attacks, and has the mana to spend. So if you have the mana, you know you're going for it. Hey, man, go for OPD Militia. Even if one needs mana for abilities, though, if you're like, ah, I want to just kind of separate the two. OPD Militia can do its own thing. My mana pool can be for something else. Spending that 190, likely 200, when you include the mana regen, it takes to, uh, you know, take off while you're doing your basic attacks matt you can get a thousand extra damage in a 10 second engagement pretty much hey that's damn good that's damn good the only thing the only thing that oh basically OP, opd militia is like nameless curse except it does a thousand extra damage in 10 seconds whereas nameless curse is kind of the same but over 16 seconds the only condition here on opd militia is you have to have the mana um, over time, and you have to land your basic attacks. You know, on somebody like Chimera, this is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, again, Zinx, I would really like to try it, try it on Zinx. Um, and it, uh, probably a, a lot of other heroes. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of, of OPD Militia. Is it something that you've kind of been thinking at, but now you're like, okay, sure, let's go for it. Wraith would be interesting, uh, would, would be would be an interesting hero. He can definitely use agility and intellect. Um, he, he, he can kind of go that, that route as a pseudo-caster fighter, ranged fighter thing. So, really interesting. Let me know down in the comments what heroes you guys are going to use for OPD Militia.
Patreon allows creators to offer their fans a way of supporting them and what they do. With flexible and painless payment options, anyone can support their creator for as little as $1 a month. If you would like to help me do what I love, check out the link in the video description to learn more. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, and of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, uh, subscribe. I got a ton of uh, content coming out here in October. I just redid it. Um, just for all the all, all all the math tweaks and all the all the card tweaks kind of reorganize things i do have a ultimate beginner tutorial series gonna come out because i think the tutorial really really needs um really needs work and i want to make my own so hopefully that helps beginner players please check the video description for links to my website and merchandise store and amazon affiliate links as well as all my social media till next time like always guys stay optimistic and positive